Welcome, problem solving fans, to another problem of the day. And this one is all about money in a money box. Jake has got £6.30 in a money box. That's his total. But he's got 50p and 10p's. For every 50p coin he has in the box, he's got two 10p coins. So every one 50p, he has two 10p coins. How many of each coin does Jake have in his money box? Well, all of these 50p's and 10p's have got to add up to £6.30. So basically, what we could do is say this. We could say, every time he has a 50p, he's got two 10s. And now that adds up to 70p. So every group of coins he's got, 150 and two 10s, adds up to 70p. So what we could do is see how many of these 70p's go into this £6.30. But don't forget that £6.30 is actually 630 pence. So we're seeing how many 70s would go into 630 pence. Well, we could do this as a divide. So 630 divided by 70. Well, when you're doing a division, a zero on the bottom of the division can cancel out a zero on the top. And that leaves you with 63 divided by 7. 63 divided by 7 is 9. So what we're saying is that 9 lots of 70 pence, so 9 times 70p, is going to give us the £6.30. So what we need to do is times each of these things by 9. So if we do 50 times by 9, 10 times by 9, and 10 times by 9, we will actually build this up to our £6.30. So 50 times by 9... 9 times 5 is 45, put the 0 on the end, 9 times 1 is 9 with a 0 on the end, and 9 times 1 is 9 with another 0 on the end. So basically we can turn these into pounds then, because this is obviously in pence, so 450 is pence, is £4.50, 90 pence is 0.90 with a pound sign in front, and the other 90 pence would obviously be the same. And we'll just double check that this does actually add up to £6.30 before we do any more. So £4.50, 90 pence, 90 pence. Let's just double check it makes £6.30. 0, 0 and 0 makes 0. 9 and 9 makes 18. Plus the 5 is 23. Put the 3 in, carry the 2. 4 plus nothing plus nothing plus 2 is 6. Put your decimal point in, £6.30. So as you can see, that does actually add up to £6.30. All we need to do now is say how many of each coin he's actually got. Well, the 50p coins is going to have nine of those. So 50p's is going to have nine of them. And the 10p coins, well, he's got nine 10p coins there plus another nine 10p coins there. So that's nine plus another nine, so that makes 18. So 10p coins is going to have 18 of those.